fish because I have fucking long sword. Boom. Alright, we played against Trundle earlier. Like I said, Trundle is exactly the same as Olaf. But bad. It, close your eyes. Imagine Olaf. And now imagine he can't kill you. That's Trundle. I love it, man. Olaf is very broken. I fucking hate Olaf. With all of my heart, like entirety of my heart, I hate Olaf. He's very, very, very broken. But thankfully, thankfully, not a lot of people play Olaf. It's like Kennen. Kennen is also incredibly broken, but he is not popular, which I am very grateful for. Like, if those champions were popular, and you know they are not popular. Like, the only reason they are not popular is because people realize what piece of shit champions they are. You know what I mean? Kennen isn't difficult. Olaf isn't difficult. But they just don't play them because most people aren't fucking, like, disgusting, you know? So I'm happy about that. I don't know if it's the same Trundle. You guys have to check. I'm very bad with remembering names. I'm assuming it's the same Trundle. Yeah, I think it's the same. Is it? Somebody check. Somebody check if it's the same Trundle. From, I think, two games ago. Or three games ago. I don't remember. Why is he top lane? I have to stay inside that wave. Cannon! I lost cannon, now I'm mad. Why did the trundle hit the minion? You take it. Yeah. <coughs> what the fuck just happened? What the hell just happened? I don't know whatever happened, I am alive, that's all I care about. I started watching you and I'm close on getting a girlfriend. Is this some kind of gift that- She probably has a dick, bro. <laughs> she, she- She's probably packing more than you, buddy. But if she's not, then congrats. Unless you are into that stuff. If you're into it, then maybe win-win situation, I don't know. But yeah, my viewers are known to getting bitches. My, my viewers all get bitches. All but the streamer? Yeah. But the thing is, I don't want a girlfriend. I just want to have sex. There's a difference, you know? I don't want a girlfriend. I just want to fuck it. Like, that's the, the, the... You know. When I'm sad about not having bitches, I am sad about not having any sexual intercourse. Like, I am not a lonely person emotionally. Emotionally, I am... I don't need anybody. I I love my life emotionally. But if I ask my dick, my dick is very sad. I mean, he gets beaten every fucking day for hours and hours. 
Who would not be sad, you know? Obviously. Obviously he's sad. So, my brain is happy, my dick is sad. Alright, I can recall this good. And I'm not gonna lie, I think more guys, I think there are a lot of guys who mistake being horny to being lonely. I think a lot, a lot more guys my age. That's why relationships fail. Because guys fuck a girl and then they are in a relationship and then they just like break up or they cheat. Because they never wanted to be in a relationship in the beginning. They never wanted that. They were just horny. But because, alright, we just had sex, I guess we are boyfriend-girlfriend now. No! You were just horny, man. You don't care about that girl. The same way around, man. You don't care about that guy. You just wanted some fucking... You know, just some fun time. That's all it was. I fucked up. Uh oh. I fucked it up. I mean, to be honest, there is nothing good about having casual sex anyways. L imagine you are a fuckboy and you fuck a bunch of girls. Those girls are gonna all talk to each other and then they all know that you're a piece of shit. So even when you want to have a real girlfriend, all the girls will know that all you do is sex and then they will not trust you. You know what I mean? So... Or maybe you move every... like maybe you move in a, into a different city and then it's good again, but if you're in the same city, then it's not good. Ushi Voka, thank you for the sub. Same way being a girl. If you're a girl and you fuck a lot of guys, it's gonna be hard for you to get into a relationship. Because all the guys are gonna say, yeah, she's a hoe, I smashed. So even when you want to have a relationship, no guy is gonna like you now. You know? Same thing with, like, if you're a guy and you fuck a bunch of girls. So my advice to, to girls and boys, boys and girls, if you're horny, just jack off, get your BBC dildo, whatever you have to do, okay? And only have sex with people that you kinda give a fuck about, kinda. You don't have to be in love, like, but like, a, you know, don't have sex with people because you're horny. If you're horny, just fucking jack off. Jack off, fucking finger yourself. I don't know what girls do. What do what do girls do? I don't know. A key that opens all the locks is called a master lock. Uh, that's a sh I know that that Andrew Tate, you know, well, it's different. A guy can have a lot of sex and it's fine. If a girl does it, it's this. It's the Andrew Tate bullshit, right? Listen, bro. If you're a guy and you can fuck a lot of girls, most of the time you fuck trash girls. Those are trashy girls most of the time. Most of the time. If any girl is willing to sleep with you, you're just, like, you're just banging a bunch of hoes anyways. You think you're a big boss, meanwhile you got chlamydia. Like, bu buddy, like, no. Like, this only applies if you're, like, a hyper-successful man. And then again, even if you're hyper-successful, you're, like, a millionaire. Those girls don't sleep with you for you. They fucking use you to get that Chanel bag or Gucci bag or whatever the fuck they want. So how much of a boss are you if you let yourself get used by a bunch of hoes or fuck a bunch of ugly bitches with chlamydia? Like, there is no good option that you can have by sleeping with a bunch of girls. It's all negativity, regardless of who you are. Now, I'm not judging you. If you wanna fuck, go do it. Do it. But I think if I did it, first of all, I'm assuming that I can. 
I'm assuming that I can. If I tried, I probably couldn't find a girl. But I'm just saying. If I had a fucking infinity stone, and the infinity stone gave me the power to have sex with anyone I want, I probably wouldn't do it. I know it sounds like bullshit, but if you do it, people will see it, and it will be bad for you, I think. I think. You know what? I probably would do it. And I would ruin my life. <laughs> I probably would do it, even though I know it's bad. But, yeah. I'm telling you guys, I, I don't know anything about sex, but if you think about it, I don't think having a lot, a lot of sex is not good for anybody. It's not good for anyone, dude. Boys, girls, animals. Well, animals, it's probably good. But, I don't know. Just jack off, man! Just jack off, who cares? Just jack off anyways. I'm a big advocate for masturbation. I'm, I'm like number one spokesman with a fucking number one finger. You know those from baseball? I, I would be standing tall with this fucking fizzy drinks on my head, drinking, being the number one fan. But don't go too crazy with the masturbation, alright? Don't buy a flashlight. Guys that buy flashlights are the biggest creeps ever. That's creepy as fuck. That is very creepy. Be a man and use your hands, okay? I don't know what it is, but there is something extremely creepy about having a flashlight I don't know why it's just super it's super 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 creepy did you guys ever make your own flashlight out of two two sponges a glove and a Pringles can did you guys ever do that For the uneducated in the chat, if you take a Pringles can and you wash it, an empty Pringles can, you take two sponges and you, you, you tape the soft sponges inside, like the soft side inside, and then you put a glove over it, it, it works. Now, I know because we gave a birthday present to our friend. We built one as a gift for a friend. Alright, that's how we know. <laughs> yeah, me and other friends, we built a makeshift flashlight for our other friends, basically. Loop? I mean, you don't put the loop in, you just give the loop, like, separately. Like, in a separate, you just give, you know, yeah. You use the loop when, when you're supposed to, when you're doing the deed, you know. Did you test it? No, it was a gift. It's brand new. You know what the funny? You know what the funny part about that story is? That same friend who we gave that to, he put it under his bed, right? For some reason, I don't know why, it was a joke by the way. We weren't even serious, it was a joke. He put it under his bed. And one day, he has a cleaning lady, right, for his house. That cle- like one day, he came home, and the fucking can was on top of his bed. But he didn't put it on the bed. But it was on top of the bed. So that cleaning lady found that shit. And put it on top of his bed. So, that's the funny part about the story. <laughs> I don't know. Dominate. 
I have a hundred percent of my team's deaths. Please don't perma ban me, Riot. I just noticed that I'm the only guy that died. I want to apologize to to the United States of Nations. I apologize to 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 everyone that ever talked to me. I'm sorry. What is your thought on SX? Uh, is that a that's a city in London, no? Essex, that's a that's a place in London. But I don't know anything about that. <coughs> right? Isn't that a part of London? Essex. E E E What is that? E sex. Is that when you use like dildos and vibrators? Is that it? Like BDSM shit? Like electronic devices? Is that it? Like fuck machines? Is that it? Internet sex. Your team has destroyed a turret. Discord sex. What? How, how do you have Discord? Huh? How do you have internet? What is internet sex? How can you have sex in the internet? Bro, I'm so confused, guys. That's when you call your girlfriend and, and, and masturbate together. That's not sex. That's just jacking off while being on the phone with somebody. Um... I don't like that. I mean, not like, but I wouldn't do that. If I had a girlfriend, why not just go fuck her? Why? Bro, why? what's the point of a girlfriend if I have to masturbate anyways? What? The, I, what's the point of the girl? If, if what? This, this seems stupid. Why not just go have sex? You mean I get a girlfriend and I still have to jack off? Hell no. <laughs> what? Nah, bro, fuck that. That sounds stupid as hell. <coughs> long distance. Ah, oh, shit. I don't believe in long distance relationships, man. So you're on call with your girlfriend, and you she's definitely not getting fucked by 10 dudes. No, bro, she's loyal to you. She is all alone, and she's in her young teen fucking 15s. 15s? I apologize. Uh, 1500 bitches. Alright, that's what I'm saying. Why did I say 15s? Why the fuck did I say that? In her 22s, 23s, 20... Why is that teens? Why do I say teens? What do you call it when you're like 20 and 18 and 19? What do you call that? That's a language barrier right now. That's language bar barrier right there. What do you call that? It is not... Is it teens? If you're like... How do you call that? Man, I sound like a pedophile. If I'm 21, am I in my teens right now? I'm 21. Am I in my teens? No. Okay, what am I if I'm 20? What do you call that? I said the wrong word. 20s. Okay, I apologize. Alright. Let me try to say it again. So, you have a long distance relationship with a girl who is in her 20s. You know. 
basically she's at her peak of horny, right? And you really believe that she is not cheating on you? No way. No way. That was a language moment, bro.